you're paying for somebody else to do your dirty work for you. That's the arrangement. And that's why these things turn into the ghastly factories that, they, that they've become. I mean, one of the great transgressions is cheap food. The most indefensible degradation is not the factory farm. It's not the commercial slaughterhouse. It's $1.99 a pound for mystery meat. And the insistence on paying that and no more. And I simply say that if you pay $1.99 for meat you don't understand, um, you are paying elsewhere and later much more than what you think you're saving. At every level, at the level of your personal corporeal health, obviously, the health of your family and your dependents, but certainly the health of the, the quote, alleged community around you, especially the non-human part of the community around you. All of these things are compromised when you go cheap with food. Food should be amongst the most expensive things in our lives because food is sacramental and it's um, communion. And every time you can get away with, um, with a negligible consequence to your bottom line in engaging in communion, you have to wonder what the consequence is for the communion and whether it doesn't diminish it so irretrievably that even communion itself becomes a two for one offer, a buck 99 a pound offer, a get it while you can offer. Obviously communion is where you get to remember how lucky you are to be alive. And if that's not a costly event, you wonder, I wonder at least how much gratitude is generated by exercising gratitude that doesn't cost anybody very much.